what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I just watched a disturbing video of a speech Joe Biden gave in Delaware in 2017, where he described his time as a lifeguard. He's surrounded by a bunch of little black kids. He said, I have hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun. Kids would come up and reach into the pool and rub the hair down on my legs. And then they watch the hair go back up. He said that I love kids sitting on my lap and I learned a lot about roaches. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, the man said, <laughs> I learned a lot about roaches. He's basically saying that you know, the, the little black kids, his experience with black kids being around black kids, taught him how to appreciate roaches. This dude mouth is going to talk him right out of the race. I remember that time when he and Barack was on the campaign trail and <laughs> He told the people, the man is going to be the next president of the United States, Barack America. Joe Biden is off his rocker. Remember the time when he said the number one job in America is jobs, like Barack Obama said? It's a three-letter word, J-O-B-A. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then he said, oh man, this, this was like one of the worst here. The dude said that he was making a speech somewhere and he said that poor kids are just as bright and talented as white kids. As if to say, there are no poor white kids. <laughs> And Joe Biden is still a segregationist. Joe Biden got some tricks for y'all, I'm telling you. Trump is up front with his racism. That's the difference. This dude is telling you who he is every time he opens his mouth. He's always making these backwoods comments about black folks. And he, he got a superiority complex. He really do think that he is part of the superior race. I'm telling you, you better listen. I don't want to hear Trump mouth either, man. I don't want to hear his mouth for the next four years. I don't want to see his stank, ugly face. You look at him, it looks like his skin stinks. I don't want to look at him anymore any more than you do, but good God. Biden, oh man, and listen, right now he's on the campaign trail, so he's on his best behavior. Oh man, I know this was 2017, but he's made plenty of gaffes since. Ooh wee man, y'all gotta buckle up for this one. The debates, oh man, the debates are going to be classic. They're going to play those debates over the years in schools. In fact, they're going to use those debates to tell debating teams what not to do. Oh, this is going to, you remember when Trump was running, all the stupid stuff he said, going to be great. They're not bringing our, they're not sending us their best. The dude, oh man.
Biden and Trump in a debate? Talk about straight comedy, straight entertainment. It's coming. Oh, man. This is a storm that can't be stopped. And either way, it doesn't matter which one of them win. America loses. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?